start with an opening statement from Coach. Uh, you know, hats off to Steinbrook. Uh, they earned this one. Uh, they made big shots after big shots um, when they needed it, when they needed to. Um, so congrats to them. Um, good luck to them into the finals. Uh, hell of a year by my guys. Super proud of them. Uh, there's no head hanging here. Um, they gave us all that we wanted um, game after game. Questions in the room? Matt. Matt Trucknelli from Herbert FM Sports Radio. So talk about the resiliency and the toughness that you guys had with 30 se 37 seconds left. You were trailing by 10 and made a good run to almost have a different outcome of the game. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's, that's, that's how we've been all year. Um, you know, early in the season, we would get down big, but there was no quit in this team. It was never, there never is. Um, no matter what the score is, um, we we always play to the final buzzer. So I'm not surprised um, by the way we competed to the to the final buzzer. Jaden. Speedy Tyler goes for 32, nine and six, and what could be his last game, symbolic of the effort that he's brought to this program for the last couple of years. What will you miss most about him, and how can you best define him? Yeah, I miss everything about him. He's he's the definition of what we want a house of basketball player to look like. Hard worker, both on and off the court. Um, true leader. Um, you know, he comes to work every single day and truly try to make himself and his teammates better. John. Coach, um, Gino mentioned how D Stone came up big in one of the games when you beat when you beat Stony Brook earlier this year. Um, today, just five points, only six shots. Uh, what did you see that? Yeah, it was a rough out, rough outing for him. I mean, I don't. I honestly don't think it was anything they um, specifically did. Um, he just had an off night. And, you know, he, as a basketball player, you're going to have off nights. Um, it just sucked that uh, tonight had to be that night for him. Questions in the room? Uh, back. Coach, what, what example, what, you know, kind of push is, does this team now leave for the legacy for moving on for this program? Yeah. Um, you know, the seniors and the upperclassmen, um, they showed the young guys um, what it means to be a house of basketball player. Um, you got to come in, work hard, compete, and um, work on your craft. And if you do that, um, you can have a successful career. Tyler, I mean, five years in college, two years here at Hofstra. Just kind of talk about what the guy sitting next to you has meant to you, your journey over these last two years, and how much you've really grown. Um, it means everything, man. Um, I came here, they set forth a plan for me, and they believed me from day one. That's all you could ask for for a player. Um, Speed taught me a lot. The, the most, I probably said this before, uh, you know, every detail matters and to win games and to become better at basketball, so. In front to Paul. You guys have had the best of uh, Stony Brook most of the time. And uh, it was nice to see an all Long Island semifinal. I want your comments on uh, the rivalry that's uh, sprouting between your two schools. Yeah, I mean, you know, every time we played them, um, it's been a close game. And I, I truly believe that's going to continue to happen. Um, you have two schools in close proximity. Um, it's definitely going to be a rival. And every both teams are going to want to win for bragging rights. Any other questions? Thanks, guys.